Oliver, Oliver Anthony. Yeah, Oliver yeah. Anthony stopped in. That, and, the crowd, yeah. they was not ready for that. Yeah. Man, <laughs> it was incredible. No one, like, because, you know, I think people have now might know that they can be surprised at the other shit, but, like, but it, this is the first time it hasn't been a comic. Right, right, you right. You know? Like, so, and he got brought up by Segura. Yeah. You know, and I, I don't know what they were expecting, but, man. I wish I was there for that one. He had done the podcast that day, but I had too much shit I had to do. I had to take off. No, it was incredible. His story's nuts. Yeah, and he's a genuine dude. I mean, I still I still don't know a lot about him, you know? Yeah. Like, um, you know, but he seems to just really care about people. He definitely does. Yeah, He's yeah. a real good guy. And, you know, now the question is, I mean, I, I think he's going to hold on to it. But that's the question. Can he hold on to it? I, I believe he will. I think he'd be fine. Yeah. He's, he's like, fascinating story because he gave his life to God, like, 30 days ago. <laughs> and then two weeks later, he has a number one song in the world, like that, that he recorded off of a phone. One of his songs, the audio that's up online, I mean, it's, like, very highly rated song. It was number one at one point in time. It's the audio off of a video from his Android phone. So he uploads it to YouTube, and then he cuts the WAV file from the YouTube video and uploaded that as a song. Wow. No mixing, no studio. This little bitch-ass microphone that you have at the bottom of your <laughs> phone. And yeah. it sounds it sounds odd. What is Which one song is that, Jamie? I think it ain't got a dollar. Ain't got a dollar. I think. I'm but sure. when you listen, can, you, can we play it? When you listen to it, it kind of adds to it that it adds to it that it's not produced it's a, it adds to it that it's not it doesn't sound perfect yeah i mean it's just a dude singing a song See, that's soul right there. Yeah, man. you can't fake that. And you know what, man? He, it, he, it sounds like he, it, it feels like that in person. Like he hits, yeah. he sounds just like that in person. No, no, uh, like he just, his live show was incredible. <sighs> Especially when he got to the hit, to the hit, you know. Yeah. Everybody lost, the, everyone knew the words, everyone lost their mind. <sighs> yeah, it was great. Bro, that video, on just on my Instagram at one point, I don't know what it is now, but it was like a, eleven million views. Yeah, he, he's he he and he's he's likable for now. People love him yeah, for now. Isn't it funny? We're so cynical. <laughs> well, he's yeah. likable for now. Yeah, because you know how people yeah. are, people are fickle. I, but yeah. but I I you know my theory about it is, I think you just got to be yourself and take what comes with that instead of trying to please everybody. Yeah, because th that's what destroys you. Trying to be fake so you can so you can get stuff. He and I had a phone conversation, like, like right when everything was taken off. Um, we we communicated on Instagram. He sent me his number. I called him up, and he was freaking out. And I was like, "Listen, man, you're gonna be fine, but you're on a wild ride. Yeah. You're on a wild ride." I'm like, "Don't sign nothing. Don't sign nothing." I go, "Don't take any money because it's just a loan. It's not real money. Like when they offer you money for stuff, like a record deal or something, it's basically right. a loan." I go, "Listen." You, you, and everybody's like, everyone's telling me I got to strike while the iron's hot. I go, listen, you've got talent. You don't have to do shit. Right. Just hang in there, dude. You got talent. And you got You're, leverage. Yeah, he's he's the real deal. There's like, there's certain people you see him and you go, oh, you, you don't have to do shit. You're fine. Like now the world knows. Now the world knows. That guy has fans now, like that. So he goes from 30 days ago selling industrial equipment. Uh, a pothead, like smoking way too much pot, smoking pot all day. He said he wasn't getting anything done. And he knew that he was procrastinating and, and wasting his life away. And he just broke down, gave himself to God, started reading scripture every day. 
Instead of, instead of getting high? Instead of getting high. Damn. Two weeks later, number one song in the world. I wonder what he would have got if he gave his life to Satan. <laughs> <laughs> he would be that dude with the fucking, what's that guy's name, Sam? What's his name? With the fucking red skirt on on the, the Grammys, dancing around like the devil. What's his name? Sam Smith? Yeah. That oh, guy. Wow. That's, oh, you mean Lil Nas X? No, 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 no. Lil Nas X did this, it did it earlier. Oh yeah, everyone's doing it now, bro. The, the Lil Nas X one was hilarious because <laughs> everybody freaked out. They couldn't <laughs> believe it. This is the guy from because he was giving the devil a lap dance. Yeah, that guy, Sam Smith. Oh, Sam. Okay, is this yeah. recent? Yeah, it was the Grammys. Man, I don't be keeping up with shit. Good for you. Don't keep up. Yeah, because I'm like, I, when it comes to the award shows and shit, I'm like, Fuck I'll off. hear about the yeah. the stuff that I need to see. Yeah, you hear about stuff. You know, we were playing uh, Johnny Thunder last night, uh, I'm Alive, and, like, that's that's another cool thing about having friends that have great taste. Like, oh, you yeah. you came up to me, and you're like, you got to hear the song. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I was And I was like, okay, let me hit me with it. And I was like, oh, my God, what is this? And remember we were trying to figure out, like, what year it was made? Yeah, yeah, it's old school. You know, because that's, yeah. that's what I do. Every, every now and then I'll take a, you know, I'll take a song or I, I can take a playlist and I go... Make a radio station out of this playlist, you know, mm. and, then, and then I'll he, you know, I'll hear new shit that I haven't heard. Yeah. So yeah, that just popped up on me when I was listening to Jimi Hendrix. God damn, that's a good song. It's so good, and it's whole. It's it just it made me sad, no, knowing that the dude's dead. Because it's like, I bet he got fucked. Yeah, and I, and I didn't like any of his other songs. That made me sad. <laughs> <laughs>